bill on the roller coaster. <laughs> and I'll have to tell you, there's, there's, been, there's been many on a project like this. Kevin Biggs with RTM Ventures says a project like Electric Works is never easy to complete, but COVID-19 made things even more difficult. He told Fort Wayne City Council members tonight he's got some good news. Of the full approval on the private debt side, and we do now have the options of the term sheets in hand that will give us the equity needed to get past the, the deadline and get us to closing on the project. This means the loan they were able to secure gives them the money to move forward with the project. It's a project many local and state officials have been looking forward to but have seen delayed. Um, number one, it was really important for us to remind ourselves the big picture and what we're trying to accomplish here and for what reason. Biggs and Tim Pape with Fort Wayne Allen County Economic Development point to other public-private partnerships in Fort Wayne that have worked but have taken time, like Southtown and the Tin Cap Stadium. If we were in our innings, we are nowhere near the uh, seventh, eighth, or ninth inning. We're probably mid-innings here. They point to the benefits the Electric Works project will have on the south side of Fort Wayne. This is like no other public-private project we've had in terms of its localized neighborhood impact delivering things like health care and fresh food that they'll have. And Pape says with the recent movements around the world, developers and companies are doubling down on a commitment to inclusiveness. With the opportunity it provides in health care to medical and underserved area, with the education component that's going to put uh, uh, children who don't typically have uh, opportunity to the best most innovative uh, space and interactions right at their fingertips.